this video is about uh, determining the critical buckling load for the column and uh, in SAP 2000 I will show you how you can uh, determine the critical buckling load for any geometry any material of the column for instance I am showing you a circular column its deformed shape and uh, the bending moment diagrams in different uh, uh, modes right so uh, this is our given data the column is about uh, 12 feet in length and uh, two point loads are applied uh, at uh, uh, 4 feet and 8, he uh, eight feet uh, uh, sideways and the P critical that we need to uh, determine right so this is our given data and let's start uh, this uh, example so open the new model and uh, make sure that the units are in keep fit select the grid only option and uh, in x direction type 1 in y direction type 1 and in z direction type 2 all right uh, these uh, grid spacing in x and y directions are not important you can put any value which is non-zero because there is only one grid line in x and y direction right the important thing is that in Z direction you have defined two grid lengths and what should be the spacing. In our case, if you remember, the spacing is 12 feet, right? 4, 8 and 12. Okay. <coughs> so, 12 feet is okay and click OK button. Now, close this 3D uh, window and uh, make uh, this as a exit view. Now, we need to define the section. Uh, go to the define menu section properties and frame section and uh, here you can add new property uh, you can uh, make a steel section a concrete section aluminum section cold formed section or any other section right it's up to you uh, whatever material you want to analyze you can do it here for instance I am using uh, concrete right and uh, I am using uh, a rectangular section the name f uh, frame section one is okay with me uh, the dimensions i want to give it a dimension of let's suppose uh, 1.25 feet by 1.25 feet right the material is okay with me uh, all other details i don't want to change them uh, as of now so i will click okay okay now uh, as i have defined the section so let's assign that section uh, go to this uh, quick draw frame or a cable element click on it make sure that the line object type is straight frame and the section type is the one that we have just defined okay so just click here and you have um, uh, just uh, drawn this uh, section that we have defined now the column is there and we need to fix its space so go to the uh, assign menu joint restraints and fix so you have fixed it okay let me show you again that the column is fixed at the base and free at the top so we are following our boundary conditions now uh, we have defined uh, the section we have assigned the section we have fixed it at the base now we need to define the loads right so go to the uh, define menu and load patterns here that is already defined we need to define two more loads the one uh, that is the lateral load and the other is the axial load right so i have to define it as a for example say uh, l a t is for the lateral load the type is uh, other and add new load pattern it's self weight bottom prior it's automatically zero the second is uh, axial <clears throat> and I also uh, added it and we have defined these three load patterns okay now select this column go to the assign frame loads and the point load because if you remember the lateral loads are point loads that are applied to the column uh, here make sure that the load pattern name is lateral uh, the load type is forces the direction is not gravity it is in x direction and here you can use both the options for example in relative distance you can use from 0 to 1 and in absolute distance you can just 
define the exact distance for example at 4 feet the load of 25 kip is applied and at 8 feet the load of 50 kip is applied let me show you again see since this is your uh, 0 0 so this this is 4 feet and this is 8 feet right so click ok and the loads are applied as per our uh, given data now we have to apply the axial load at the top so assign joint load forces and in the load pattern name select the axial and add uh, the so to apply the load uh, type uh, minus 1 in the global uh, z direction of the force and click ok alright so now uh, we have applied all the loads uh, if you remember the axial load and the lateral loads that we defined in the load patterns now go to the define menu and define the load cases right so first of all delete this uh, model load because we are not going uh, to perform the model analysis uh, highlight this lateral load and uh, go to modify show load type right make sure the load case name is uh, literal make sure that the loads applied is literal uh, stiffness to use is uh, uh, for this uh, load uh, for the literal loads there is zero initial conditions which is the unstressed condition is selected there is no other option uh, in the load case type it is static okay and uh, analysis type will be non-linear and uh, for the non-linear the p delta uh, please note that there are three different options for the geometric non-linearity parameters uh, the nun p delta and p delta plus large displacements now let me just uh, explain it to you that uh, what does it means in sap the nun means all equilibrium equations are considered in the undeformed condition so the geometric non-linearity is not considered and the uh, structure is considered as geometric linear However, in P delta option, the equilibrium equations take into partial account the deformed configuration, right? So, partial uh, consideration is taken in this option. Uh, in this option, the tensile forces tend to resist the rotation of elements and stiffen the structure. However, the compressive forces tend to enhance the rotation and destabilize the structure. And this method or this option may require a moderate amount of iteration so this is also a very very important parameter the third is uh, of course the most advanced one uh, all the equilibrium equations are written in the deformed configuration right so your uh, structure uh, is deformed geometrically and uh, the real time uh, equilibrium equations are written but uh, this may require a very large amount of iteration and uh, eventually it will take a lot lot of, of uh, time from you although large displacement and large rotation effects are modeled but strains are assumed to be small right so these are the three options and in our case we will select the p delta effect because it is considering the non-linearity as well as it is uh, limiting the number of iterations right so I have selected P delta effect I will not change this and uh, not uh, change all other details and will click OK now uh, select or highlight the second one which is axial and click the modify show load case make sure the load case name is axial here stiffness to use here will not be the zero initial condition but the stiffness at the end of previous load case which is lateral the uh, load uh, case type uh, in this case will not be static but it will be buckling right and uh, this is uh, uh, you make sure that applied load is uh, uh, axial in this case uh, other parameters you can uh, change the number of buckling modes you can make it two three four uh, I, uh, I will uh, keep it six uh, so that I can show you the results and the variations the eigenvalue convergence tolerance this is very important thing and most of the time this by default value is okay because as you know that the uh, me this method is an iterative method and the tolerance is very important uh, for the convergence okay so click ok and uh, we have defined the load cases right now we are only left with one thing and that is just to select this uh, member this column 
once it is ready and go to assign frame and this automatic frame mesh and uh, click uh, this box minimum number of segments and make it four right and click ok ok it is something happened wrong uh, again perform the same step assign frame automatic mesh and four right and click ok so now your structure is ready uh, for the analysis click this run analysis button and uh, run now it will ask you to save the model so give it a, a suitable name whatever suits you and save it and uh, then the analysis will be performed for instance I am giving it a name of let's suppose 5 and I have saved it and see what is this this is the moment 3-3 diagram under the load axial right in the mode 1 factor so let me go to the fill objects to show you a 3d view right this is the 3d view and uh, let me show you the deformed shape for different modes okay and start animation so you can see that it is uh, in the y direction now for the mode 2 it is in the x direction right just uh, note the uh, deformation for the mode 3 just check the deformation that how it is deforming these are different mode shapes of the column uh, the buckling modes right and uh, this is the mode 4 this is mode 5 and this is mode 6 right similarly you can check the stresses frame or cable stresses uh, for different uh, combinations for example axial is okay with me if you want to check the shear or the bending moment you can fill the diagram or show the values or diagram whatever suits you right so this is the bending moment diagram and uh, for mode 1 this is bending moment diagram for mode 2 this is the bending moment diagram for mode 3 see this is the bending moment diagram for mode 4 this is the bending moment diagram for mode 5 and for mode 6 this is the bending moment diagram right so this is how you can uh, check different values different results there is only one thing left with it uh, you can go to display and uh, show tables here you can select this analysis results the structure output and the other outputs here you can click on the buckling factors so click ok and it will give you the the buckling load for all the six mode shapes for example for first two mode shapes the buckling load is 1798 for the third and fourth mode shapes the buckling load is 15518.9 and for the fifth and sixth mode shape the uh, uh, buckling load is 40851.98 right so this is how you can play with different parameters you can unlock it you can change the shape or geometry uh, you can change the material uh, you can do uh, different things for example you can assign it another section just go and define a new section right add new property the property is let's it's a steel with the tube and uh, it has uh, these properties click ok so now there is a frame section 2 and you can assign it as a frame section 2 ok now this is your frame section 2 you can check it in the 3d see this is your tube section which is empty inside so this is how you can uh, uh, okay you have changed uh, the material and the section just uh, run the analysis and the analysis will be performed for this new uh, 
material and uh, the geometry uh, with the same loading that we defined for the uh, previous section right so this is how it deforms see this is the deformation of this column so that's all about uh, uh, the buckling and uh, again let me take you to that table and uh, see the results how uh, they have changed so see the results are now changed and uh, for every mode shape the uh, buckling load is different all right so thank you very much i hope you have learned something uh, uh, that you wanted to and uh, please let me know if uh, i can add something to it or if you want to be uh, trained on some any other important topic so i will be waiting for you in the comment section thank you very much guys take care